Hello and welcome to your yoga class. My name is Maria and today I have a short, energizing, wake up morning yoga class for you. These are some asanas that are known to provide a little bit of energy or they're not calming poses per se, they're more energizing poses. They'll help you feel a little bit more awake. So for today's flow, we're only gonna need ourselves and the floor. I'll meet you on my mat. You can start standing at the front of your mat or wherever you are, feet hip width apart, slight bend in the knees. We're gonna start in a mountain pose, Tadasana. Try to align your head over your heart space, and if it helps, maybe try imagining lining up your ears over your shoulders. So a lot of us, a lot of people need to bring the head back in space just a little bit. Relax the shoulder tips down, away from the ears. Maybe have the palms face forward, a little bit different than what we normally do, how we normally walk. Slight bend in the knees. Try to spread all 10 toes and ground down into the ground, pressing down with all four corners of the feet or try to imagine pressing through the heel of the feet, the ball of the foot and both edges of the feet. Feel free to close the eyes here as we take a moment just to tune in. For a second, just imagine that you have a string attached to the crown of your head that's helping you lift through the crown of your head a little bit more. So maybe imagine lifting up through that space. Bring your attention to your breath for just a few moments. Take notice where your breathing is going to inside of your body. Is it going to your chest? Do you feel it in your clavicle, in your neck, or in your stomach? Are the breaths short or are they long? And then finally, bringing attention to the temperature of your breathing. How does the breath feel going in? And how does it feel coming out? Now, allow this awareness to bring a natural deepening to your breath on your next inhale. Try to imagine and try to step into your breath now, breathing into your low belly, expanding through your entire torso, all four sides, through your rib cage, through your low back. And then as you exhale through the nose, bring the belly button in, to expel all the air out. Two more big breaths just like that. Big inhale in, expand the belly button out, expand through all four sides of the torso. Big exhale out, relax. One more time, big inhale in. Big exhale out, relax the shoulder tips on that last exhale. Lift your arms up towards the sky. Option to just gaze up just a little bit but if not, just gaze forward, bring your palms to touch, and then bring them down to your heart center. Bring a slight bend to your knees, and then start to hinge at your hips. So your legs, your knees are still bent, and you're just trying to bring your torso over top of your thighs. So knees continue to be bent here. Try to allow your lower belly to rest on your upper thighs, and then just allow the rest of your body to relax with gravity. Your shoulders, your hands, option to gaze down at the floor or back towards your ankles or behind your knees. Feel free to widen your stance here as we come into forward fold, Uttanasana. Take a couple of breaths here. Allow the crown of your head to relax towards the earth. Relax with gravity. Shake your head yes and shake your head no to maybe release a little bit more through the neck. And then option to grasp opposite elbow here with your hands, either in front of your legs or behind. Whatever variation feels better. If your arms are in front of your legs, Maybe rock a little bit from side to side, but keep that movement very small. Try to keep your ankles a little stable here. One more big inhale in, big exhale out. And then slide your hands to your shins or to the tops of your thighs for halfway forward fold, Ardvo Tanasana. Keep your gaze down, tuck your chin just slightly. Imagine that there's something balancing on the back of your neck. One more big inhale in, 
And then as you exhale, fold over your legs. Plant your hands onto the ground. You're gonna step one foot back and then the other. Coming into a plank pose option to drop the knees here for a half plank pose. And then if you're here, uh, either way, we're gonna come all the way, bending the elbows all the way down onto the floor. Elbows graze your ribs as you come all the way down. Option to press your forehead into the ground, option to just keep your head slightly lifted. Untuck the toes, press the hip bones into the earth here, and we're gonna do a couple of baby cobras. So bring your hands back by your ribs and your elbows are tucked in back behind you. And on your next inhale, lift the chest, but very little to no weight in the hand. So if your chest just lifts a little, that's great. We're strengthening the upper back here. We're opening through the chest, whatever your limit is, stay there. And then exhale and bring your forehead back down. We're gonna do that two more times. So press your hip bones into the earth, maybe squeeze your glutes to help allow that. Your lower ribs are going to stay pressed to the earth, but you're just going to lift your chest ever so slightly on the next inhale. So inhale, lift. Try to bring your shoulder blades back behind you to squeeze them. And then exhale, lower down. One more time on the next inhale, lift the chest and exhale, release everything. We're going to tuck the toes under, push into the knees and push into the arms to lift yourself back up to half plank or to full plank. And then wherever you are, we're going to lift the knees up a little higher, bend the hips, coming into downward facing dog. Your hips are going to lift up towards the sky, slight bend in the knees, your heels can be lifted here. So bend the knees as much as you need to in order to get your back straight. So try to imagine that you are holding a towel in between your upper thigh and your lower belly area. So that hip crease, imagine that that's holding a towel. And try to keep that position here Push away from the floor with your arms, but allow your shoulders to rise up towards your ears. Shrugging your shoulders up to find a little bit of stability here. One more big inhale and exhale. And then slowly walk your hands back towards your feet. So we're coming into Uttanasana forward fold again. Slide your hands towards the shins or the upper thighs, coming into halfway lift. Big inhale. And then wherever your next exhale is, forward fold, folding over your legs. We're gonna plant the hands and walk them forward again, coming into downward facing dog for just a second, bending the knees. Once again, imagining you have a towel in between your hip creases. And then shift your shoulders forward, drop the hips, coming into plank pose, drop both knees, come into tabletop position, stacking the knees, the hips over top of the knees and the wrist underneath the shoulders. Spread all 10 fingers wide and press into all 10 knuckles, especially that pointer finger knuckle and thumb. So those two the, where you would normally make an L, try to make sure that that's pressed into the ground as well, that it's not floating. On your next inhale, you're gonna to start to drop your belly, lift the tailbone up just a little bit and try to bring your chest up and through your arms. So widen through your collarbone. Stay here, just notice how your body's feeling. Try to maybe bring your shoulder tips away from your ears. Maybe try extending your ears a little bit up, extending through your neck or pulling the shoulders down, away. On your next exhale, wherever you are, you're gonna start to tuck the tailbone under, leading with the tailbone, rounding through the upper back, tuck your chin to your chest, coming into cow po to cat pose. <laughs> and then wherever your next inhale is, whenever that happens, start to drop the ribs again, lift the tailbone, try to lift the chest through the arms, big inhale, and then exhale, tuck everything in. Try to feel your shoulder blades uh, away from one another here, try to separate them. And then on your next inhale, maybe notice how your stomach feels, your belly as you stretch it. And then tuck the chin on your next exhale, cat pose. Come back to neutral. So returning to that tabletop position, drop your elbows to replace where your hands were and start to walk your knees back just a little bit. 
until you start to feel an opening, a stretch through the shoulders, maybe through the chest, just until you start to feel a gentle stretch just up in that area. If this feels good, then maybe just rest your forehead onto the mat. If this, if your shoulders feel a little tight, then maybe just take the elbows wide a little bit and then stack one hand on top of the other in front of your, directly ahead of your head. So your elbows are bent and a little wide, so you're almost making like a diamond shape with your arms. And take one more big inhale here. One more big exhale. Puppy pose, stay in here as long as you'd like, but whenever you're ready, bring your forearms straight or parallel or maybe even a little diagonal and start to lift your forehead, shift your weight back onto your forearms and walk your knees back up. And we're gonna lift, come away, step away from having our wrist on the ground, walk your hands back. We're gonna come into a kneeling position. So kind of feel free to come into a hero pose or just a kneeling with the toes tucked under. This one might strengthen or help stretch muscles throughout the feet as well. And we're gonna come into just the seated position. If you have a block, feel free to grab it. If you have a towel near or around, feel free to grab that too. Bring your arms behind your low back. So if you have that block, both arms grab that block and you're going to just extend your hands and that block towards the earth, bringing your shoulder blades to touch back behind you or close to touching. Start to lift the chest and maybe take your gaze slightly up. Another option, if you don't wanna use a block or if you don't have anything, is just to interlace your fingers behind your low back and then draw your knuckles down towards the earth. Maybe your arms and your elbows straighten out here a little bit, or maybe they stay bent. But trying to open up through the chest area, maybe lift your gaze. I'm gonna stay here for one big breath cycle, all together, big inhale in. Filling up the low belly, the whole torso, and big exhale out. And then relax the arms down by your sides. And then from here, we're going to lift the sitting bones up off of the heels. So if you were in hero pose, just come into a kneeling position, but we're not seated. It's kneeling, standing, I'll call it. I don't know. Bring your knees hip width apart, and you can keep your toes tucked under here or you can have your toes flat up against the floor. Bring your hands to your low back, fingers facing down, almost as if you were putting your hands into your back pockets. Try to bring your elbows towards one another, back behind you, and once again, we're gonna try to bring those shoulder blades towards one another. As the chest starts to naturally open, maybe lift the gaze up a little bit. Start to squeeze the glutes here to try to send the hips a little bit forward, stretching and protecting the low back, coming into this back bend, camel pose. We're gonna stay here, breathing. So only go as deep as you can still breathe. So if you go too deep and you can't breathe comfortably, try to come out of it a little bit. Big deep breaths in and out through the nose, but feeling the stretch through your chest and then relax your hips, lift your torso back up to normal. Once again, the, deep, the bend does not have to be that deep. If you just bring your hands here and a little bit is enough and you feel your chest opening up, that's really all you need. We're gonna do that one more time. So relax the arms and then bring your hands again to your back pockets, imaginary pockets, or if you have them, feel free. Uh, take your elbows back towards one another. Your shoulder blades are maybe gonna go towards one another naturally. Your back's gonna, or your chest is gonna open naturally. Maybe take your gaze up slightly. And then this is enough. If you are looking for more, squeeze your glutes. And then from here, take whatever variation you want if you're familiar with this. But if this is your, one of your first times doing camel pose, I recommend just staying here. Just to notice how this pose in itself feels. And one more big breath in and big breath out. Most important part is being able to control the breath. And then bring your sitting bones back on to your heels. We're gonna bring your hands to the ground, walk the knees back and either come into knees together, child's pose or knees apart. So whatever you're feeling, start to sit your sitting bones towards your heels. If you need a little bit of support here, if you need some more lift, 
If you need to lift the floor up to you, feel free to put blocks underneath and just sit your sitting bones on that. Walk your hands forward towards the front of the mat and relax your forehead on the earth. I'm gonna stay here for five deep breaths to finish out the morning flow. If you want a little bit more of a back bend, maybe take the knees out wide for your child's pose and allow your chest to fall towards the earth. Big inhales in through the nose, out through the nose. Whenever you're done, feel free to stay here. Maybe rock your head a little bit from side to side. Give a gentle massage to that forehead. Or just walk your hands back up. And wherever you are, feel free to continue on with another video. Feel free to use this as just a little morning movement to help you start your day off, right? Or just to help you start your day. Thank you so much for joining me. Feel free to go on to another video or to use this just as a quick morning, wake up morning movement to help you start your day. If you like this video, let me know in the comments. If you want more videos like this, anything you have to say, write it in the comments. If you like this video, hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel to stay notified of new videos. Now that I'm back, hopefully I'll be coming out with them a little bit more frequently. So free yoga videos for you. If you like my classes, please subscribe. Thank you. Have a great rest of your day.